and that's a victory for you. Now you have the emotional awareness, Queen of Cups, to get yourself off this ride, to get yourself off this merry-go-round. A merry-go-round merry that's literally turning into a nightmare. Yikes. Forget zombies, forget uh, mass murderers, forget haunted houses. When a childhood situation turns dark, that's one of the most terrifying things I can, I can really think of. Hey there Libra, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? So, welcome to your general energy reading for April of 2021, yes? Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, I could be talking to the cross watcher here, so the roles can be reversed. Yes, keep that in mind. And this is a general energy reading, so like we could be talking about anything right now. Whomever this message is for and whatever you need to hear at this moment, then that is the message for you at that moment. Yes, also, you know, these are timeless readings, even though they're for the month of they're for a specific month, they're all timeless. So like you can watch these at any time and it may resonate with you, for you, yes? So if you are interested in getting a private reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below. Also, if you're vibing with, we, with me as a reader and you would like some extra content, I highly recommend that you check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. We have a lot of fun over there. It's like a big group of friends that just get together and like shoot the shit and all that. Um, uh, keep in mind that daily readings are no longer on Patreon. They have since moved back to YouTube in the form of morning coffee. However, we do have a lot of great extra stuff over on Patreon, including uh, monthly love readings for all of the Zodiac signs. Yeah, so if you're interested in any of that, please go ahead and check me out. Um, so, Gemini, not Gemini, sorry, so sorry, Libra. Just did Gemini, now I'm doing Libra. Okay, fine. But Libra, so for this month, we are going with the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for our Tarot in uh, for our Tarot deck. And then because we're in the spring month, or the spring season, excuse me, I was guided to work with the Oracle of the Unicorns for our Oracle Guidance. So that's what we're getting this month. Yes? Okay, Libra, um, let's get into your pre-shuffle here. It's very interesting. It's very, very interesting because even while I was doing Gemini's reading, your energy was kind of coming forward too. So this kind of feels like you're in a similar space. When I connected to your energy, Libra, I started to get, feel like I'm in some sort of like, almost like a carnival. Like I'm hearing kind of like a carnival-like music, um, and I'm seeing a lot of bright colors and things look really fun and flashy and it seems cool, but then I'm still feeling through it and it's like all of a sudden now it's turning very dark. As if you're like, you're on like, say you're on the merry-go-round, right? And you're having a great time and then all of a sudden things shift and change and you're like, okay, okay, I think I'm done with this now. Okay. I want to get off the ride now. Hello, can can somebody stop the ride? I, I want to get off. Like that's that's the type. Like it's starting. It almost feels like a bit of a panic. Not gonna lie. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't really. I didn't necessarily really want to take it that way. You know how it's kind of turning dark here because I had this really crazy dream this morning that was like super super dark and like really weird. And it's kind of coloring my day. I'm not allowing, I'm really not allowing, trying to allow it to color my day. Um, but it's like, the, it, it's just, it's left me in a really weird state. And I can't help but feel like that dream has something to do with the energies that I'm picking up for the air signs today. Because I meant, I meant to, I, my intention was to do the air signs today. Um, and I guess I'll share it with you because it does feel like it, 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 it vibes with this, but there was just, it was this setting where I was around a lot of young people and they seemed fine at first, but then all of a sudden, like everything would drop and it would get kind of gray and they would turn gray and they would just get this like really like weird smile on their face as if they were drugged or something. Or if, as if they were, they were like turning, turning into zombies. It was the strangest thing ever, but but that's kind of, it is kind of similar to the energy that I'm feeling for you right now, Libra. 
but your pre-shuffle energies totally make sense here. So, um, and I am going to say that this does feel very similar to what I was picking up for, uh, uh, picking up on for Gemini, because e like I said, even while I was doing Gemini's reading, your energy was like coming through my head. Like I kept saying, I kept, there were certain moments where I would hear Libra and I would just feel Libra energy. So you might want to check that reading. Um, but your pre-shuffle energies are the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. And then at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles, also the Ace of Wands, which is very interesting. Ace of Wands upright and the Six of Wands to the Queen of Cups. All right, so first of all, what's really interesting about the Ace of Wands coming through is I don't, I don't remember who exactly it was. It might have been the fire signs. It might have been the water signs. I can't remember. But the Ace of Wands came out. The, case, the Ace of Wands came out in a pre-shuffle. And it came out in reverse. And throughout the, the day of my readings, that Ace of Wands ended up staying reversed. And it did come out for another sign. And it was um, appropriate, right? So while I was re getting ready for your reading, Libra, um, I was... I, w I had finished Gemini and I was clearing the deck and the Ace of Wands showed up, but it was still reversed. And so I took that moment to turn it upright and it's upright for you here and it's upright for a reason. And that's very, and this Ace of Wands energy is very similar to the Ace of Swords energy because somebody here is recognizing that they need to get out, that they need to get out, they need to get off this, this karmic hamster wheel or they need to get off this ride. It's becoming too much, um, there, you may be involved, you may be having nightmares about it, you may be feeling really burdensome. And, and it, this, is so, this is so similar to what Gemini is going through because of this Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles energy is a feeling of childishness, it's a feeling of being an adolescent. And at one point, being in this energy was really fun and really awesome. And now, however, it's become too much. There needs to be a change here. Ace of Swords. And I feel like Ace of, I'm sorry, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, this is your victory here, your inspiration. You feel like you want to work towards something more now. And that's a victory for you because now you can, now you have the emotional awareness, Queen of Cups, to get yourself off this ride, to get yourself off this merry-go-round that's turning into a merry-go-round that's literally turning into a nightmare. Yikes. Oof. When childhood imagery goes wrong. I mean, that's that to me, that's one of the scariest things ever. Forget zombies, forget uh, mass murderers, forget haunted houses. When a childhood situation turns dark, that's one of the most terrifying things I can I can really think of. And maybe it's just because I'm in this energy right now reading through this for you, but this is terrifying. This has become extremely terrifying. And I don't like it. And neither do you. So good for you. That's definitely a victory in terms of wanting to get yourself out of it. All right. Yeah, there's the Ten of Wands again. It's becoming too much. You're overburdened. It's become more than you bargained for. But you see... Ooh, that's a lot. I'm not going to take all of it. But the Eight of Cups is at the top of it. So yeah, okay. It's time to, it's time to move on. And this is even bringing up... A dream that I had years, like when I was a kid, um, that was pretty nightmarish. I had gone to this, this like, this, 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 this like theme park, this like child, this like kids theme park, and I remember in the dream I was really excited about being there because it was one of my favorite places. I don't even think I've actually been to this place in the in the physical world or in this like you know what I mean. Like maybe this is like an astral an astral location, a location on the astral plane. But when I got there, it was dark and scary and just like, I don't want to be here any longer. Like I haven't, that was a nightmare that I had when I was a kid. Holy shit. What the hell is going on here, Libra? All right. Well, let's get into it and see what, what we have. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. All right. Last shuffle. All right. Actually, you know what? Let's do one more. All right, Libra, let's get into the rest of this here and see what messages we have for you. Here we go. Hi, spirit. 
Please make me a clear channel for all Libras at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations of the general energies for Libra for the month of April of 2021. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Libra. It's it's uh, five shuffles, but it's uncanny how similar this energy is to Gemini's energy. Because for Gemini, it was an energy of someone not wanting to change, not wanting to grow up, basically. But for you, this is like the realization that this is just like this. This is not right. Something is very, very wrong here. It's like it's like the carnival or the festival is turning dark. Five shuffles, one. Two. Three, for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, for the month of April of 2021. This might have something to do with something that happened in February. Is this three? Shit. Three. Um, and that's something that I've been saying a good amount for the signs this month. This is actually this, whatever. I'm just going to give this one more shuffle. Okay. They're saying it's necessary. That's fine. All right. And five or six, whatever. <laughs> I'm just trying so hard to feel through this and make sense of it because it's all getting very confusing Boop. which was another element to Gemini's energy but we're talking Libra here uh, overall energy Libra you have you're starting with the Knight of Cups um, okay so what's helping you break out of this energy Libra is heart chakra awareness um, and that could, in some cases, that could represent you becoming aware of how abusive this situation might be or these circumstances might be. All right. Underneath the Knight of Cups, yeah, is the Two of Pentacles. Underneath the Two of Pentacles is the Three of Cups. And then underneath the Three of Cups is the Six of Swords. And the Three of Cups is talking, is feeling like for me, like a real, a super extreme party atmosphere. But this atmosphere is only helping to keep people intoxicated and asleep. And because you're waking up, basically, because your heart chakra is coming online, because you may be becoming aware of the abusive elements to this situation, or maybe even the toxic elements to this situation, it's causing you to one, want to bring greater balance into your life. I'm also feeling like it's causing you to want to bring greater balance into the lives of the other people around you that are a part of this situation. And yet you can't necessarily do that for them, but that's influencing you to want to break free, want to move away, Six of Swords. Oof, okay. Let's get into the rest of this here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading. Ah, yes, the hanged man. And you know what's crazy? I was kind of expecting this to come out for Gemini, but it didn't. It's come out for you, though, because either you or whomever is feeling in this part of the energy right now, you have the enlightenment, you have the awakening, you see this, you see this from a different perspective. It's as if, the circumstances of this situation have strung you all up in a, in a way that your perception is skewed or you have been, uh, elements of this situation have put these individuals that are a part of this circumstance with you in a position to see things in a way to think, oh no, this is cute, this is fun, this is okay. And yet you have woken up here upside down thinking, what the hell is this? This is not what I signed up for. This is not what I thought it was gonna be. How the hell did we end up here? What the fuck is going on, you guys? And then it's like turning around and be like, hey, 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 what's going on here? And they just look at you with this blank smile on their face. Ooh, y'all. 
This is just like that dream I had this morning. There was even a point in that dream where the powers that be or whomever was pulling the strings in this, in this dream literally limited the amount of sunlight that we got. Like I saw, I saw that come down. It was like this interface and it's just like limit sunlight. It's like, whoa, whoa, what? I hope this is making sense. Uh, the hanged man is coupled with the Hierophant. Holy moly. This really is some sort of institutionalized energy. But the, the point here, or the fact of the matter is, Libra, you're starting to see this institutionalized energy for exactly what it is. Or, at least, you're starting to see it from a different point of view, and that's waking you up. What? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. In the first half of your reading, there's the Nine of Cups. Yo, the Nine of Cups came out for Gemini's energy. And the feeling that I was getting for the Nine of Cups was somebody is very much content to be this way. But now, for you also, Libra, the message here, the, the Nine of Cups is representing intoxication. And I'm not saying that this situation actually involves substances that would leave you intoxicated. But it does feel like there is an energy here of continuing to feed this illusion through a sense of intoxication. Not allowing people to stay in a conscious state of mind, which helps them stay in this illusion. Whether that's through substances or some other means, I don't know. But this is very much a, 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 a comfort zone type energy. Keep them intoxicated and, and they'll never ask a question. They'll never question anything. Maybe you're dealing with a cult. I don't know. Nine of Cups is coupled with the Three of Wands, though. Because somebody here is waking up to the elements of this situation. Um, and I'm definitely getting an energy that this is necessary. This is definitely necessary for you to deal with. So maybe this is a cult or maybe this is some sort of like institutionalized energy in which you were you were born into or you were incarnated you incarnated to, 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 to face or to experience so that you could move forward with your life on a, in, in some sort of soul journey somehow. I'm hearing this was all part of the process. And you're waking up for a very specific reason. Okay, your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Libra, is the Emperor. Because someone is... The challenge here is to step up and take authority for your life. And make a decision for yourself. I'm also feeling create boundaries. Because the Emperor is very much about boundaries. But the strongest thing that I'm getting here, Libra, for you is that this it's time for you to wake up. Oh, well, no, no. Let me not say it that way. It's time for you to take control, to take your power, power back and to say when basically when enough is enough. The emperor is coupled with the page of pentacles. There's that childish energy. And in, even even in this circumstance, look, the Page of Pentacles looks kind of sheepish. Like, I, mm, you're going to take my pentacle away from me. I don't know about that. And then the Emperor's like, come on. It's time to wake up. It's time to grow up. It's time to set some boundaries. It's time to set the record straight. Mm. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading. Yeah, there you go. The Eight of Cups. Point blank, straightforward, it's time to leave this behind. Eight of Cups is coupled with, yes, the Seven of Pentacles. Because, again, enough is enough. I mean, I don't even want to say that you would want to stay in this because, again, it feels like it's becoming a nightmare. But ultimately, you've received enough in learning from the contrast of this situation to... Mm, to put the pieces together, to put two and two together, and to... I'm hearing to join forces with each other to end this cycle or to end this circumstance. 
So it may not just be you that's that's waking up here. There may be others, uh, part of this circumstance that are also starting to catch the vibe too. But ultimately you're needing to walk away from this. And I'm feeling very strongly that you're wanting to walk away from this. You're wanting to leave this behind. Like this is almost giving me feelings of like some of those religious groups that are, that turn out to be cults. And I like, I'm just getting images of all the people that I'm not going to name anything specific, but like, I'm getting images of people that have broken free from them and have turned around and told their story, told their horror stories really about it. Wow. All right, Libra. Second half of your reading. Yes. First set of surrounding energies. We have the five of wands. So this is the opposition. Um, these are the people that are still a part of this situation that are still very much indoctrinated within it or still very much intoxicated by it that um, would oppose you, that would try to stop you, that would try to keep you from bursting their bubble. And, and I'm not even trying to say that you're trying to get out of here just to expose, but also you would you face bursting their bubble by removing yourself from the situation you don't even have to remove yourself and then tell the world your story just by leaving the situation you're kind of bursting their bubble a little bit but that's not your fault i mean in the grand scheme of things you have the you have every right to go in whatever direction you want in your life right five of wands is coupled with mm. Mm -hmm. seven of swords This just feels sinister. Straight up, Libra. It just feels sinister. And whatever these people would be doing to try and tamp you down or stop you from moving forward, it's deceptive. Because ultimately, you are waking up to the truth of this situation, Libra. Yikes. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. Knight of Swords. This is you fighting your way out of it. Maybe not even fighting your way, but just like finding, finding your way out. That's a good thing, ultimately. I just heard take charge. Understand what it is you need to... Understand what it is you need to understand about this situation and move forward. Take your dignity and your pride with you. The Knight of Swords is coupled with, yep, the Ace of Wands. There's that Ace of Wands again. And I don't even feel like you're really fighting other people for the sake of fighting other people. I feel like you're literally going to have to fight tooth and nail, whether that be physically or maybe just energetically or maybe even emotionally to get yourself out. I'm not condoning physical violence. But it does feel like there may be some pretty extreme steps that you're going to need to take in order to get out of this situation. But ultimately, I do feel like it's going to be worth it. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Libra, is the magician. But you see, the magician energy is a challenge here for you because this is taking back your powers of manifestation. <laughs> Because it feels like whatever this situation or circumstance you are in, it was designed to take your power to create for yourself away from you. But now you're needing to regain that. So really the biggest challenge it feels like is in terms of uh, this magician energy is regaining the belief that you do have the power to manifest for yourself. Okay, the magician is coupled with the king of cups. The big challenge here is, yeah, gaining that emotional stability back to weather whatever storm that you need to weather to manifest your way out or to manifest, to manifest something new for you. That is going to be a challenge here because I do feel like there are going to be a lot of elements opposing you trying to get you to stop. Like the zombies that are still asleep here 
would be working on behalf of whomever is in control to keep you down or to keep you from moving forward. And so your challenge is going to be breaking free from that. And the biggest, and the, the biggest uh, advice that I have in terms of this here is working on that emotional stability and grounding so that they're not able to manipulate you because your emotions are part of, are a big part of your manifestation abilities. Yes. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading. Yes, the chariot. See, this is you having that emotional stability and balance and harmony to move you forward. Once you get your emotions under control and you have a firm grip on that, you can, you, I mean, you can do anything. And it does feel like there are emotionally manipulative tactics that are a big part of this energy here. And that is what helps to keep this Hierophant energy or this institutionalized energy in control. When you control people's emotions, that's when you control them. When you can intoxicate them enough to keep them under your thumb, you really have control over them. There is a false sense of bliss in this situation that you seem to be breaking free of. Okay. The chariot is coupled with the six of pentacles. Interesting. Look, there's really nothing that this situation can give you any longer to keep you satiated or under control. I think what's, what's contributing to this sense of being emotionally in control and basically in the driver's seat here and moving you forward is a recognition of the lack of reciprocity or the lack of balance between give and take here. I feel like you're becoming aware what, and what's going to help you, what's going to help you stay in this emotionally balanced energy is the recognition and realization that there really is nothing that they can do or say or give you to, to satiate anymore. It's almost as if whatever these individuals are using or whatever this institutionalized energy is using to keep people intoxicated, it doesn't work for you any longer. It's as if your tolerance is way too high. Figuratively speaking, or maybe literally speaking. Wow, Libra. All right, um, let's close this out and get you your closing oracle guidance, yeah? Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. All right. Closing oracle guidance for my Libras, please, spirit. Here it is. Imagination. Hmm. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. Your imagination was once wild, free, and magical. Deep in your heart, you believed that anything was possible. Then you grew older and were told to live in the, quote, real world. You were told to take sensible action, to be responsible, and to learn facts and figures instead of dwelling in daydreams. You were led to believe that hard work was the only way to get results. This thinking cut you off from your magic and blocked you from using one of your most powerful manifestation tools or manifesting tools. Now the winged horses call on you to soar back to the realms of your imagination and to use daydreaming as a powerful way to create your reality. 
Return to your childlike mind that was full of wonder and to your belief in magic and miracles. Instead of being limited by reason, allow yourself to fly high into possibility and believe you can be, do, and have anything. If you can see it happening in your mind, it can become real in the physical. Spend time each day to powerfully dream of what you want. Let your imagination activate feelings of joy, delight, gratitude, amazement, and surprise as if your wildest dreams have already come true. Let those feelings flood your body and stream them back to the universe. Give thanks in advance and surrender the how to the divine. This card also encourages you to go even higher with your dreams and to trust that they are closer than you think. Have patience and don't give up right before your vision manifests. So there you have it, Libra. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I... Oh, uh, if you're interested in getting a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. Also, I highly recommend you check me out on Patreon, yeah? That link can also be found in the description box. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May, yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>